Wrench can weigh? What if Wrench has extra auditore? Guys, I think this might be crazy, but I think Wrench is Desmond Miles. He had tattoos, the same hair colour, everything. Wrench is Lena Pierce. Fact. Shut the Aiden fuck Pierce, up. it's fucking Wrench Aiden Pierce, you fucking, fucking twat. Desmond Wrench is Juno. I think Wrench is a sage. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Okay, at this point, I think it's pretty clear that everybody wants to know who Wrench is under that mask. And nobody knows. So everybody is throwing their shit at the wall with stupid theories. Okay, now, I'm not here to shit on your theories. I mean, I respect you for having your theories. But if I could debunk your theory with one point, I'm going to. And the theory we're going to debunk today is the, the theory that Wrench is default. Now, a lot of people are like, you can choose to let default live in the main game of Watch Dogs. Yes, you can. I will not deny that you can do that. However, you have a choice to kill him there, and therefore it would fuck with your choosing in the game. And it doesn't stop there, okay? Because in the Bad Blood DLC for Watch Dogs, spoiler alert... I will give you a second or two to pause now before I get, get into the spoilers. Default dies in the Bad Blood DLC for Watch Dogs. He has, well, T-Bone makes um, some toxic gas go into his uh, little room there and he gets trapped in and he asphyxiates and dies. And that's how Default dies. Also, Default wasn't actually allied with DedSec before, and he had no interest in being allied there with them. And he also hated T-Bone to the fucking core for being the one responsible for causing the blackout, which caused his brother, who was on a suicide watch, managed to escape and kill himself. So therefore, he would not work with DedSec, and he definitely would not work with T-Bone, and not stand side by side with him and talk to him. Instead, they would be trying to kill each other. Now, Wrench really quickly says, after complimenting T-Bone's hat and T-Bone compliments his mask, he says, okay, we're good. But I don't think complimenting somebody's mask is, is really going to make you good with somebody responsible for your brother's death indirectly. So, I am about 100% certain that Wrench is not default because, you know, it's just one of those theories. It's not a dumb theory. It's just not exactly plausible it, you can't apply it okay you can try and it's the closest thing you can to apply but it's not it doesn't make sense and if this does turn out to be the case then there would be a massive plot hole where to fill being why the fuck is wrench not trying to rip t-bone's head off <laughs> to show you how really ridiculous some of these theories are people are theorizing that wrench is in fact t-bone even though there's clearly a scene in the trailer where they are standing looking at each other complimenting each other's headgear okay i've said it in many videos i believe that wrench is just a new character um, maybe has some relation to characters like T-Bone from the past, but outside of the Watch Dogs game and Watch Dogs 2. So I do believe he's a new character that we've never seen before, and he's just been introduced for Watch Dogs 2. He's a new character that we're not going to... We're, we're gonna, probably going to learn a lot about in the game. We're going to learn about him in the game 110%. We're going to see his face, we're going to learn his name, we're going to learn everything about him, okay? And we might end up, even end up with a DLC about him. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you on the next one. So, yeah. So, uh... Oh, and by the way, wrenches. Also, subscribe for more Watch Dogs 2 videos where we talk about wrench because that seems to be the most popular thing about Watch Dogs 2 for some fucking reason. And subscribe for actual Watch Dogs 2 content as well because I do that as well, I promise.